friends, today I'm going to read a very special story for you and your tiny humans. Schubert and Sophie Stay Home by Dr. Becky Bailey with Vicki Hepler and Julie Rufo, illustrated by James Herkack. Things in Bug Valley have been very different lately. Schubert and Sophie have been home for many days. There is a new virus that's making a lot of people sick. Staying home helps keep families safe and healthy, and it helps keep the virus from spreading. People all over the world are staying home. The first few days at home together were fun for Schubert and Sophie. It was kind of like spring break or a snow day. They played board games, they played outside, they took family walks, they even worked on a giant jigsaw puzzle together. One morning, after a week of staying home, Schubert woke up grumpy. He grumbled about doing his schoolwork. He grumbled about being at home and about missing his soccer games. He grumbled about everything. Sophie woke up grumpy that very same day. She cried, I miss my school family. I miss my friends and I'm angry. My field trip to the zoo was canceled. Grumpy feelings turned into grumpy actions. Sophie grabbed Schubert's pencil as he did his schoolwork. Schubert yelled, Stop! Mom! Sophie keeps bothering me! Mom was feeling grumpy that day, too. She snapped at Schubert and Sophie. Can't you two just stop fighting? Dad growled loudly, Enough! It was like the whole family had forgotten how to solve problems. They forgot how to ask for a turn. They forgot how to use their big voices. They even forgot how to take a big belly breath. Some days staying at home was hard. Mom and dad heard the frustration in their own voices and felt the knots in their own stomachs. They looked at each other and then both took three deep breaths together. Finally, dad said, it's hard to have so many changes. It seems like we're all feeling big feelings, like sad and frustrated. Mom said, Schubert, you wanted to go to your soccer games and practice with your friends. Schubert nodded. Mom continued, Sophie, you wanted to go to the zoo with your class and play with your friends. Sophie nodded. Mom continued, we can all handle staying home. It's hard, but we can handle it. Breathe with me. The whole family took three slow, deep breaths together. Their shoulders relaxed. Their eyes softened and the knots in their stomachs faded away. That evening at dinner, Schubert said, One of my assignments for Mrs. Bookbinder is to write down one thing we are grateful for each day. Even after a grumpy day, I wrote that I am grateful for my family. Sophie had an idea. Let's all share a gratefulness. So they took turns sharing their gratitude. It felt so wonderful that they decided to make sharing gratefulness a regular part of the dinner time ritual.